for as long as I can remember, I've had joint stiffness and pain upon sitting. If I was asked to sit in easy pose or sukhasana, I could not. My knees would ache and my hips would feel like they were being torn apart. This is because as a young child, I was taught that women should have their legs closed. I was taught in a very orthodox religious way that included very abusive stereotypes which blocked my emotions. This is not to the fault of my parents, they did the best that they could, but we were all to a certain degree raised this way as black people, black women. This taught me that femininity was something to be scoffed at, and even even sitting with my legs agape during story time in the first grade was means to me feeling like I was a harlot. I was being molested as early as three years old, and when it was discovered by my family members um, that they were having essentially their way with me, I was punished in the same way as my molester, and that person was not banished from the home. I was treated like a willing participant, and for years after that, I felt scrutinized and ostracized for my misadventures of sexual molestation, if you will, and it wreaked havoc on my physical health. Starting as early as the first grade, I had major issues sitting in easy pose. I just couldn't. And when I was 25 years old, I was diagnosed with arthritis in my right knee. To make matters even worse, I had recurrent uterine fibroids, endometriosis, and uterine cysts that would expand and ache from the age of 10 when I first started menstruating. I received my first pelvic surgery when I was 27 years old, which was unsuccessful. I had menorrhagia so bad I nearly bled to death twice from simply having a monthly period. I had to receive emergency blood transfusions and another emergency per uh, surgery was performed. Throughout that process, I began to realize the constant surgeries were taking a toll on my well-being and my physical health. I noticed I was unable to lift my own legs correctly and without major strain. I began feeling lethargic and exhausted at all times, and this created for me an energetic emergency. That and that all began about five years ago when I started to change my life. I started I slowly started changing my mindset and creating for me new ways to explore my own self. I began to deconstruct all of the negative mental narratives that I absorbed my entire life, and I began to see that my past was not my fault but how I moved into the future was a direct result of my own actions and the actions that I would take from that moment forward. That began my own personal journey of changing my life and upgrading my energetic vibration. I simply call it an energetic makeover. It's where you reset your future by understanding your past and where your inner child has come from. Because your past does not define you. You can make a difference in your own life Lean not only on your own understanding, but book a session from somebody who's lived through it. Book a session so we can paint the picture of where your next season will take you and how your inner child can benefit from the healing work that you do today in your own life. Trust me, it's hard. It is difficult. You will feel the pains and the strains. You will cry more than you've ever cried in all of your life. But at the very end of it, when you reach that moment of bliss and nirvana, then you will learn to live your best life unapologetically happy. And yes, I'm not perfect. My body isn't the way I want it to be. I might feel like I still have things that I need to work on within my own self. But energetically, baby is born energetically baby is born my rebirth date the day that i chose to change my life is april the 2nd 2020 that is the day that baby was born that is the day that i moved forward in my own energy knowing that i'm a totally new person from the inside out because i've worked very hard and diligently to become a person that was worthy of the utmost respect from her own self. Self-love. Love yourself infinitely into infinity because at the end of the day, ain't nobody going to do it for you. Ain't nobody going to change your life for you. And if you want your life to be what you want it to be, then why not start today? Why spend another moment feeling low vibrational, feeling aches and pains, why spend another moment in the worst energy of your entire life? Some of you guys have anxiety so deep that you can't even 
move through the day without a pill, without a joint, without a drink, or without cussing out your family members or cussing out traffic. Some of you guys are living so low down deep in the depths of your darkest despairs that you can't even see the world and the beauty around you. Book a session with someone who cares about you. I care about myself, I care about you, and I want you to live your best life unapologetically happy. So, what is it that has been plaguing you? What's on your mind today that you just can't seem to shake? What's been holding you back as far as your life's purpose is considered? Do you want or believe that you have higher dreams, bigger dreams? Or are you content living in the status quo? My name is Ebony Walters and I have been working diligently to becoming and becoming baby, becoming snarky black girl, but also becoming who it is in this world that God made me to be. You know, yeah, I could say, oh, I'm a bad bitch, I'm this, I'm that, and I'm everything in between, but I can't really truly go out into the world as that person until I heal my inner child because she is the one that was born with the confidence. She is the one that's been suppressed all these years. So how can you really go back to being and becoming if you don't even know how to help her to heal? That's what an energetic makeover is for. All right?